because lighting is so intangible. To use words to describe it, it is not that easy. Light changes constantly during the day, from natural sunlight to artificial light at night. And with the lights on, lighting does bring life and civilization to a city. It seems to me, it is a visual language that reveals a city's unique character. I actually prefer the old Hong Kong. I guess I'm lucky to be able to witness the evolution of lighting from the very beginning. I grew up in the 50s. At that time, lighting was very basic. It was mainly for illumination purpose only, which meant to make everything bright, and that was all. With the continuing development of new light sources, one can see how light has painted a different picture of our city. It is easy to over-design lighting. So when I finish doing a lighting plan, I always ask myself, if I had one more light, would it be too many? Or if I were to take one light out, would it be not enough? Where light does not reach, it is called shadow. People find shadow frightening. But to a lighting designer, it is a significant design aspect. The depth and quality of space are always expressed by light and shadow. Lighting should never pollute a city. Over-design sometimes comes from a lack of confidence. Lighting is really about space, about layers. Different light sources can create different atmospheres and sometimes different emotions. Architectural lighting design can change a building's physical form into a piece of living architecture. All successful design begins with light and ends with light.